Hi, we just released a very powerful update to Pyndros AI Assistant. So this is just a quick overview. So first of all, you can now use Codex and Cloud Code uh, agents as AI providers in Pyndros. Like the major benefit is that Cloud Code and Codex are already included in your existing chat GPT cloud subscriptions. So there are no extra costs for using API in Pyngro. And also agents tend to be smarter than just the regular API calls. And we have a separate uh, tutorial on that. So please take a look to learn more. We also have uh, GPT-5 models now fully supported with both open AI providers and open router provider. And if you have OpenAI provider, then this uses the new responses API, which is more efficient uh, for input token caching. So GPT-5 is quite cost efficient. And another quick saver, now you can right click here in the smart quick toggle to quickly select a model. So now for smart model, I selected Codex 5 Medium and uh, click switch to quick. And again, I can right click and select GPT-5 Minimal. And if you want to optimize the list of available models, especially if you have like a lot of providers active, we now have hide the provider option. So this keeps the provider active but its models are not shown in the list. So it cleans up the model list and that's handy when you're switching models. Another new feature. So for example, here I have a bunch of broken images and now I can just select parent element and right click. So first of all, AI assistant commands are now available in the context menu that you get by right clicking on the element. And then in images, we have a new command, fix broken images. So this goes through the selected elements and checks uh, all the images that are there. And in case some are broken, they get replaced by either images from the project or if there are none, uh, by images from Unsplash. So AI agents are really becoming popular, especially Codex. It's really nice agent from OpenAI. And because Pyngro works with regular HTML files, it works really nicely with these external agents. And in this update, we added a, a nice helper. So for example, let's say we want to ask the AI agent outside of Pyngro to work on this section. We can just go into AI Assistant menu and say Describe to Agent. So this describes the position of element and copies it to clipboard. And then in our AI Agent, instead of telling it, you know, like in the file, why clouds, you know, on the section with this and that text, do something, we can just say improve the design off and then paste and the information about the selected element in Pyngro gets easily pasted, pasted to our AI agent. And in this case, you see it even reminded us that we should save the file first. So let's do that. Switch back and say saved. And then the agent goes to work and this is really nice way to reference elements, you know, visually. Until now, our recommendation for using AI with Pyngro was um, using Anthropic Sonnet as the default model. And now in this kind of in the age of AI agents, our recommendations for the most effective use of AI would be using Pyngro in combination with AI agents such as Codex or Cloud Code. So now the change is done and Pyngro automatically reloaded the page so we, we can see, you know, what happened. 
So yeah, this has been a brief overview of new features. You just need to reload PineGrow and all these goodies will be automatically available. You don't need to install anything. So have fun and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.